In this video, I'm building a wooden blanket ladder. To start off, I'm measuring these 2x3s to 6 feet long, and then I'm cutting the ends off with a circular saw. I'm using my speed square to line up the circular saw to get a nice clean cut. Now I'm just quickly sanding over both 2x3s. Once the ladder is assembled, I'll go back and more thoroughly sand the piece. Okay, so I don't want the ladder standing uh, vertically straight up. I want it at an angle. So to get that angle, what I'm going to do is line it up on a wall, like how it's going to rest as the final case. And then I'm going to take that piece of scrap wood. And I'm going to put it flush with the wall. And then I'm going to trace the line. Now that the angles are marked, I'm clamping down the 2x3 to my workbench and I'm cutting them out with a circular saw. Now I'm just lightly sanding over the edges. Okay, so now that I have the first one cut out, I'm gonna trace it onto the second one. Now I'm cutting out the angles on the second 2x3. Once that was done, I measured 9 inches from the top and then every other 16 inches. This is where the dowels are going to be placed. Alright, so now that I marked out where the dowels are going to be, I'm going to find the center of this line and then I'm going to glue in, or I'm going to drill a 1 inch hole to glue in the dowel and I'll do that to both sides. Okay, so now that all the markings are done, I'm going to drill a one inch hole to attach the dowels. Now, I don't want to drill all the way through the wood, so I've marked out a stopper on the drill bit when we stop. So, it'll just go in the right depth, and then I'll glue in the dowels. Now, I'm just drilling the holes for the dowel, making sure not to go all the way through the 2x3. I then lightly sanded each hole. Right now, I'm cutting out four dowels, which are going to be 18 inches long. Alright, so I put the dowels in just to do a dry fit to make sure everything fits, and it does. So now I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to go back and add glue uh, where the dowels attached to the stands and clamp it all down. For the glue, I'm just using type on 2. When clamping up your project, make sure that everything is straight because right here, I had to go back and unclamp my project and use my speed square to make sure that everything was straight and flush. Once everything was dried, I went back and sanded the whole piece. So now that I finished sanding, I'm gonna add a few coats of this dark walnut stain, and then I'm gonna add a few coats of clear coat to finish it off. When applying the clear coat, make sure to move the brush in the direction of the grain to get a cleaner look. Once the clear coat dried, I'm now going to add these rubber stoppers to the top and bottom to prevent the piece from sliding. Now that I've finished, I added some blankets and I'm placing the final piece in my living room. If you enjoyed the video, you could give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions on what I should build next, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.